How y'all doing? Good, you? Good. Beautiful day out there. Glad all that pollution has gotten away a little bit. You Pretty didn't crazy. Field goal competition. I did not. I have not been known for my kicking. I was a long snapper, short snapper. That was. I wish I could have done that. I will give a lot of credit to Brick, though. He was absolutely impressive. <laughs> Could have hit that thing. <laughs> I had no clue. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> where, where do you feel like you're at in terms of installing the offense and kind of getting the, everyone who hasn't been part of your offense kind of to speed? Yeah, uh, far away. It, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, I think the guys have gotten the nuts and bolts of it during this off season. There's a lot of guys that haven't been out there that uh, we need to see and be able to evaluate and see how they fit in. But uh, there's a lot of work still to be done. A lot gets made of what Aaron does signaling wise, I guess, at the line of scrimmage after the play is in and how much that puts on receivers. How much does get put on receivers in that case? And uh, how much more does he do that than like other quarterbacks? He does it quite a bit. It's something that he takes a lot of pride in, and uh, it's something that, that we love to see because he takes advantage of certain areas on the field. Uh, it definitely puts a little pressure on the wide receivers because they can't ever just lock in on something that they're going to be doing. Uh, if the quarterback sees an advantageous look for something, he'll give you something very quick, and you have to have your eyes on him and the eyes on the ball. So um, that's just kind of a process-oriented thing for those guys to get used to. What are your uh, drugs in your Aaron? But yeah, up to this point, he's been he's been great. He uh, just uh, wanting to learn. He's starved for knowledge and understanding, not just the routes, but how he fits within the system and how he fits within each concept that we do. Uh, I think that's going to be kind of the thing that he's going to work on throughout this. Off, uh, I guess now we're in the true off season when he's by himself, but uh, into training camp is kind of getting those feels through all the concepts and how they fit together. But um, just as a person, he's been an absolute pleasure to work with and talk with and try to help him grow every day. Has anything surprised you about him that maybe you didn't know from a scouting report or from film that now that you've been with him has kind of stood out? Hey, he's got some amazing body control. I think his ability to uh, get up on defenders and move them, and then even when the ball might not be perfectly placed, be able to torque his body into different positions, it's something uh, that's very special. He's, he's talented that way. What's it been like for you and for this offense to have Aaron here the whole time? Know, helping you and helping out the guys who need to know. You know the it's fantastic. Aaron and I, we come uh, from the origins uh, of a system that is very ancient. And uh, so sometimes it's hard to get that uh, kind of communicated to people. So I think anytime you have people that have been in the system, uh, especially a guy like Aaron and I who've been in it for so long, and then some of the other guys that we have on the team that have been there, um, it definitely helps. And then just his leadership and how, how he plays that every day when he walks in the building. Uh, keeping it light but very serious. I think that's so important. How, what has it been like? Uh, you talked about how you guys have been going, like working together to you know, just build this offense and change names of things. And like, how, how fun has it been just going into the weeds with him for, for that kind of stuff? Uh, it's up and down because he definitely will let you know um, when things are not at his liking. Uh, and so, you know, my goal as a coach has always been to create a system for the team, for whatever team that is. In, in this case, it's the New York Jets. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback, and I want to fit that to him and then all the guys around him. So the two of us work together as much as we possibly can to make it so they can go out there and execute at a high level. That's so important. And uh, there, they, when I have some ideas, uh, the good thing is I know if they're good, and I definitely know if they're bad. The situation Nate, you're in with Aaron is very, very similar to what your dad had with Joe, you know, in Kansas City and how they were reunited after being together earlier. Could you, I don't know if you've talked about that with your dad, just on the parallels of the situation, and also what's it, coaching a Hall of Fame-type quarterback when he's in a new place, you know, what's that like as well? Yeah. Dad, maybe some tips. Yes, you know, I, w I was lucky to be just a young kid when that happened uh, with Joe and my father, and uh, I thought it was a, a great experience for both of them. Both of them had come into an organization that was starved to move forward uh, in their progression, and, and I think that my dad and Joe, it, it, it was great because they had been in the same system, a lot the same that it, it is for Aaron and I. So they got to put, you know, whether it was their spin on it or, or there just wasn't a lot of learning for Joe. So he was able to come in and 
call some of those basic plays that we've seen uh, forever in the West Coast world. And uh, so I talked with my dad about that and kind of got some advice with him. And uh, Aaron talked with my dad a little bit. And it's it's been up to this point. It's been great. And uh, really appreciate Aaron being here for the off season. Uh, I think it's been a lot of fun for everybody in the building. What have you um, thought of Zach Wilson? Yeah, he's a very, very talented player. And I think for him, it's his eyes are wide open right now. He's got so much that he's had to learn. It's a new system. I think a lot of people don't understand that when you go two years, you come from college, go two years in one system, and then transition into another system, it's ground zero for, for him, and it's, it's, it's so new. And uh, I think having Aaron and I that are looking farther ahead, it's kind of playing chess and thinking, 10 moves ahead, he, at times you just have to uh, tone it back a little bit, make sure that uh, he's grasping the foundation of it so then he can progress you know, slowly and slowly and, and get to where we need him to be. But uh, he's very talented. He's a pleasure to work with. He's got a great smile on his face. And, um, I mean, he can sling the ball all over the field. And uh, we're just going to slowly get that system to him. Is it the system? What is the difference? Because people thought, because you came from Green Bay and you worked with LaFleur's brother, and that West Coast tree, people thought it was very similar. Is it not similar? What are some of the... No, I can't tell you that because then everybody will know. I mean... (laughs) Because people assume, hey, there's carryover. Yes, uh, of course. There is carryover. I think the stuff that we started building, especially year two and three when we were at Green Bay, I thought some of the stuff that we did there was was special. We combined a lot of the stuff uh, that Matt LaFleur had done, a lot of stuff that Aaron and I had done in the the West Coast world and kind of combined those things. And I thought that made it a, a special offense for the Green Bay Packers. And so when you look here, it's uh, doing the same thing. Everywhere you go, like I said, you build a system that's specific for the quarterback, that's specific for the team and what they can do. And uh, so there's different intricacies here and there, uh, different some protections, some things we might do more or less, uh, different uh, packages, all kinds of stuff like that. But there is quite a bit of carryover. Is there anything, I realize it hasn't been that long since you last worked with, with Aaron, but is there anything about him that has struck you as a little bit different or has surprised you a little bit since you've come together here? Uh, yeah, you know, Aaron and I have always had a really good relationship, so uh, just kind of how he's been interacting uh, with me and watching with the players has, has been a lot the same. Uh, I mean, his experience at Green Bay when I was there, I mean, we had a great time. I mean, we won a lot of football games, and that's when you get to have the most fun. Um, so right now, I mean, having him in the off season, yeah, I've seen him enjoy that uh, quite a bit, getting to know new people. I think that's always an adventure for anybody, for coaches when we go to new places, and, and it's also for that, like that for players. So I think for him, I think he's just excited to meet new people, be in a new area. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's an adventure for him. So uh, I, I definitely have seen him really embrace that. Has there been a guy that's surprised you to this point through voluntary workouts? Voluntary workouts are a little tricky. There's there's a lot of guys that I think have stepped up and, you know, we've thrown everything at them. It's our first year in this voluntary program, and um, we're going to know a lot more once we get the pads on. I think for as, as a coach, obviously, you know, there's things that you don't know what it's going to look like when all of a sudden the pads come on. But uh, the guys have really worked hard. I appreciate them all being here because it is voluntary. I think they've enjoyed themselves and are excited to move forward. You, think you, more? you mentioned the pads coming on, which is obviously – an allusion to not being able to really evaluate the offensive line, but what is your thought on the offensive line as it stands right now, the potential for it, because we know offenses really only go as far as the offensive line, and you have Beckton and Brown obviously on the sideline right now. Uh, you know, I start with Keith, uh, Keith Carter, working with him. This is my first time uh, working with him. Uh, watching him get after those guys over there uh, has been really fun to watch. Uh, I mean, he pushes those guys really hard. I think they understand the standard that we're trying to set for that group. Um, and then Ben has done great. Billy has done great from a coaching standpoint. Um, like you said, once you get pads on, that's when you really start learning stuff, especially in the trenches. Um, but for them just to understand where to go and who to block is always the number one most important thing for us. And after that, we'll evaluate it when we get the pads on. What's the biggest thing you learned from the experience in Denver? Uh, there's so many things, and uh, I think it's been a uh, great opportunity to be here in New York. Uh, I'm so lucky to be here, and uh, I'll take all those things. It was an honor to be a head football coach in this league, and uh, it's a huge honor to be the offensive coordinator of the New York Jets. So I'm excited to move forward and focus on these guys. Nathaniel, you said you were far away. Um, without getting to any specifics, leading the training camp, where do you want to close that gap in terms of the song offense? 
That's a great question. I mean, for, for a coach, we want everybody to be on, exactly on the same page, know exactly what everybody's thinking and how they're breathing and running and operating. Um, but the re- re- realistic portion of that is is these are guys that have never played a real football game together, and we're not going to know until we go out there on Monday night. And uh, so for us, it's about continuous rep- repetition. Uh, it's understanding Aaron and what he sees and how to adjust and how to run, whether it be a route, whether it be a concept. Um, so when I say that it, it takes a long time is, is there's so many different intricacies that you have to get a feel, just even how a guy uh, runs a go ball down the field. I mean, everybody's so different. And uh, so, so I think it's uh, far away from that standpoint. Where we close the gap, only practice can give us that and only gains and experience. In terms of the offense, um, how much – do you install at this point, and how much do you get to start from the beginning again in training camp, or how does that kind of work? I try to do everything. We we'll want to totally overload all of them. I'm, I'm hoping that they've gotten all this information, and now they can review it, because you don't want to surprise them. There's always little intricacies here and there you'd like to change up. Uh, but for us, we want to try to give them everything so they can now study it as they go on vacation, and uh, they understand they got to come back and uh, be ready to rock and roll. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you.